Well, uh, this is going to be interesting. We have new banners. We have Farina and we have Sijuin. I am going for Farina because she is the best character in the game, without a doubt. Sijuin's cool. I might pull for her on supports only because she is a support. She does healing stuff. And she has the her demo trailer thing. It's the cutest thing in the world. Uh, but I'm going for Farina today, which should be interesting considering I only have 20 pulls. We're on a very nice zero pity with a 50 50 because we got Clarand last. So uh, we're going to need to get pretty damn lucky. Farina, please come home. First 10 pull. A four star. Um, we don't, that's Garming, he's useless. We don't have great four stars for memory. That's not useful. It's new, but not useful. Uh, yeah, no, they're completely garbage. They're not, they're not good four stars. None of them are useful. What is useful, though, is this five star right here. I mean, I was expecting it, but, you know, hey, that's usable, at least. Ah, so I was expecting that to happen. I was hoping it wouldn't, but yeah. That means it's grinding time. Do we have anything that I can use? We, hold up, wait. I forgot we have two two standard pools. We get five star over here. I incredibly, incredibly doubt it, but yeah, no. Oh yeah, and I should also mention we unlocked Sarai Island. I did that world quest a little bit just because I've been doing world quests a bit more now trying to get some more primos so i've done most of the ones in fontaine i've done fontaine research in research institute and a bunch of others i did jane chaber rising yesterday so i'm going to be going and doing some farming i'll probably just farm for ages until we have like 50 pools or something i don't know I, that's really that's really not gonna happen but who knows we're just gonna go farm an absolute ton and then i will come back probably when we have like 10 days, maybe even less, depending on how many pulls we get. Or I might come back and do the new Spiral Abyss. Who knows? We'll see. I'll think of something, but we're going to need to do a lot of farming. I will see you in multiple days' time when I eventually get a decent amount of pulls to hopefully get Farina. Okay, so it has been a little bit. A couple days, I think. How long? I can't remember. Yeah, six days or so, a week or so. And as you can see, we have a 10 pull. We have 15 because uh new month so we get five pulls there and another five here i have been going and doing this quest because it actually i only really recently found this out by accident uh if you ever need a quick way to get primos there is a quest i'm pretty sure it's around here somewhere uh, i don't have it unlocked on this account but it's on the other ones i know where it is there's like a little thing around here you can talk to a a uh whatever the things are called, the Perry things there. And if you collect all of these, it can give you, it gives you a hundred primos for each one, like 10 you collect or something. So if you collect all of them or five, I can't remember. If you collect all of them, you get 600 primos total. So I've been doing that quest. So then, then that entire area is unlocked and I can collect all of these and get tons and tons of primos. But in doing so, I have managed to get myself a 10 pool. So we're going to do these five pulls here do the other 15 pulls over on Farina and go from there. I am not going to be pulling for Siege Queen because I did do the pulls on supports only. And she seems like a cool character, but just not that good of a character. And I already have enough Hydro characters. Nothing on that pull. I don't really need another one that isn't incredible. So we're going to give Siege Queen a miss for now. But, you know, if she when she gets a rerun, I'll do some pulls for her then. Without further ado, let's jump into... This is like 30 pity or something. 10 pull. Only a 4 star. Okay. Not great. Not that. Okay. Now we have about 5 pulls. So let's see what we can get. We have one more pull. Forina? No. Okay. We do get one more pull though. Hold up. This could be, this could be her. This could be our Farina. It's a 4 star. Not great. It's not usable. Awesome. Okay. That's about what I expected. Guess we are going to be back on the grind then. For more primos. 
We do have this, which I would probably, by the time you're watching this, I would have done a whole video on. Um, I don't really know what it is, but I'm going to jump into this. I just want to do this in a separate video because I don't have any ideas for videos. So we're going to do this and hopefully we can get a good amount of pulls from there. Otherwise, we're just going to do some quests and get those 600 primos and try a bunch of stuff. Because that seems like that's going to be our best bet. If I can get some better artifacts for some people, I'll go and run some Spiral Abyss. But at the moment, we do not have strong enough characters to really go in there. I don't think we could, but I'm not 100% sure. So I will see you in either a week or in two weeks. I don't know. Depending on how long I take to farm more primos and hopefully we get something. But yeah, who knows? So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, no, hold up. Wait, we're not done yet. I just went and recorded another video because I needed to get a video out. And in that, we went and completed the Imaginarium Theatre. If you saw that video, you know how that went. But we got as much as that done as we physically could. And we did the Inuzuma Archon Quest. So that gave us two more standard pools plus 900 primos. Which is not going to be enough to do a 10 pool. But it is going to be enough to do some more single pools. So, because we can... Let's do some more single pulls. Okay, boom. One more pull. Farina. That is not a Farina. Now, we are actually going to go and do some more farming. Not today. So, I will actually see you in a couple days, weeks, however long it takes now. Okay, so we are back. And today is going to have to be the last day we are going to be pulling for Farina. Because we currently have four days left of the banner. And, I mean, I could go to one day, but then this video would come out after Farina's banner's already gone. And I don't really want to... I want this video to come out before her banner's already gone. I've got 2,000 primos. Plus, I have gone and farmed every one of these in that area. So, we are going to go dump them into the thing. Now, I have the most exploration here I have on any account. But if we don't get Farina today, that's fine i mean farina would be really really nice but we do have navia and emily coming out next update which i would tr like to try to get both of them but that's gonna be really pushing our luck i'd rather a navia over emily just because navia i think would turn be better for this account emily is sort of just dedicated to version reactions which is going to be kind of difficult at the moment we can offer every single one of these you can offer it six times, and each time we offer it, we get 100 primos, plus some other stuff. And now, this should be maxed out. There we go. Indeed, it is. And now we get a name card. So we have almost two pools, I think. We have almost 20 pools. We have 17 pools. Maybe we can get some other stuff. We'll see. We do actually have, before we do that, we have three standard pools. So let me quickly do those. See if we can get like a four star or a five star off here. Not super expecting it, especially a five star. But, no, we don't get anything. Okay. Well, it's time. Let's see. This is like 50 or 60 pity. Are we going to see any early luck? No, we are not. Noel, useless. And a sacrificial bow. It's new. I don't really know. We might be able to use it on someone. Now we can buy one more of these. That's going to give us 18 pulls. I mean, eight pulls now. So we just need to get two more pulls from somewhere. I could go try Spiral Abyss. I did actually try Floor 9. It didn't go very well. But I could try to run it a little bit and see how well we can go. See if we can just grab a couple more primos from it. You know what, let's just, let's give it a shot. Might as well. I've put some better pieces on Chevra. She is now running uh, Noblesse. So her burst gives us attack. And also she's running sort of more HP stats. So she can, because her stuff scales with HP and she also can do some healing. So I think she's she works for now. She does decent stuff. I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's decent. She does okay damage. And then... Clorand is somewhat built. I mean, not that well built, but she's okay-ish. My other option, if this doesn't work, is to go and 
ascend the world. I think we should just be able to lower the world level again after we ascend it. Because it's gonna, the enemy is going to be way too difficult once we ascend it. We don't have good enough builds. I might actually do that anyway. Even if we do clear Abyss decently well. It's still going to do that. Because that's going to give us the rewards from ascending the world. As well as all of the rewards from the very many levels we're going to go up. When we do ascend the world. There is floor one. Chamber one. It wasn't too hard. But I feel like it's going to get a lot worse. Although we shall see. There we go. There's chamber two three starred. This is going surprisingly better than I thought. Okay. That's the first half done. We don't have a whole lot of time for this side. But there's only three enemies. So we'll give it our best shot. I mean, this is the strongest side because Nouvellet. And he is easily our most well-built and strongest character. And if we had Farina, he'd be even better. Because as I've been farming artifacts, I've been doing most of them in co-op because it, I don't have the damage to do it by myself currently. Whenever I join a world with a well-built Farina, and they, you know, the Farina uses her burst, then we do crazy damage. Like I was hitting like 20, 30k. We've lost three stars. 20, 30k on charge attacks. Now, I could probably push for that third star, but I don't really feel like it right now. It is probably possible, but it's going to be difficult. So, I will take the primos that we have got, which are 50. That's not great. So, let's... You know what? Let's go do this. Let's go... Increase the world. Where's the thing? So, let's go quickly run this. I'm taking Fremene off the team because he does no damage. And we are swapping him with Linny. Let's give this a shot then. I mean, these aren't particularly difficult, so I don't imagine we'll have a problem. Do they have the Electro Hypostasis at all in this? I know it was in the old one because it was the worst part of this. But uh, it does not appear to be in here, at least so far. Now, this will be the fun bit, is how much are we going to go up? Because we have been sitting at AR45 for quite some time. So it'll be certainly interesting to see how far we go up. I'm definitely expecting to get to like at least 50. That was it. That was very, very easy. And there we go. Actually, we get bang on 50. Okay, sick. Oh, we got bang on 50 because we need to go into the next uh, world ascension thing. Which I will not be doing right now. So now that means we can jump over here to Catherine. And claim as much stuff as possible. Also, can we ascend people now? We can. Okay. So, I'll wait till we get everyone 90 and better builds. And then we'll go about getting to the next world level. But we get useless. Is it good? No. Okay. That could potentially be decent. These are pieces I'd use on Chevrus. And we get 125 primos there. Plus a standard pool. Now, let's do these three pools. And then we already have enough for two more intertwines. So, we do get a purple. Is it going to be like Charlotte or Constellations? It is Favonius Sword. Usable. I'll take it. Nothing else there, though. Now, that means that we should... Yes, we can do... One more ten pull. Please, Farina, come home. Ah, that's not what we want to see. Another Noel. Ooh. Ooh, yes, I will take that. Fremene. Is he even on the banner? He's not even on the banner. I will happily take that. Off banner usable character. That's now C1. What does that do? His crit rate increases for his skill that's pretty good we do have one more standard pool Farina please come home no yeah this is kind of how I expected it to go we only had 45 pity so that would have brought us to 55 65 so we're at like 66 pity now and we're on a 50 50 so if I had like a couple, like, like maybe a week more, I probably would be able to get her like at least a five star. But I don't think it's going to happen, unfortunately. 
That does mean, however, that we are pretty close to getting a Navia when she comes out. So, I mean, I guess I'll take it. I would have much rather get Farina, but I guess I'll take Navia. Or at least hopefully Navia, because I still got to win the 50-50. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But I think we're not going to be able to get Farina. Which is very unfortunate, because Farina is easily one of the best Fontaine characters. As in supportive-wise. And even damage, she can do pretty good damage. So, yeah, it's a bit of a shame, but we definitely don't have enough time. And I, yeah, there's probably no way we'd be able to get it. If I do somehow manage to get a good amount of pulls, like at least close to a 10 pull somehow before the next version, I might put that on the first half of the next Fontaine only video. If I get something or something happens, otherwise, yeah. I'll see though, because if we get kind of close to a 10 pull on like the last day of her banner, I will probably still just do a quick pull. Because if we can get close, we need like nine more pulls, whatever, get to soft pity. So, you know, if we can get close, then that would be awesome. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. But before we do finish up, I have a quick question. Last video, which was a support only video, I had a ton of comments about certain characters being supports and not like Yellen and Emily and Nilu and whatever. I've been getting quite a few comments of which character supports which aren't and you know, it, it's quite confusing. So I was thinking about doing a short video at some point, basically just going over all of the characters in the game and which ones I consider supports and which ones I don't and why. So if you'd like to see that, let me know. It'd also give me more content ideas because um, I'm running out of ideas. But otherwise, I could also post a really long thing on my Twitter about it as well, which could also work. But whatever the case is, let me know if you do want to see a video about that because... I probably would be fine to make one because I need more content and also it is getting quite confusing now so it'd be good to just go through and clear things up. With that being said though, I think that's where we're going to leave it off. As I said, if we get kind of close to another 10 pull, I might do it on my last day of a banner, but we'll see. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like sort of content, do consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and good. Bye. Bye.